back. This is Resident Evil 2, and I'm glad to be back with Resident of Evil, the series that I started so long ago. Finished the first game, the uh, remastered edition of Resident Evil, and uh, I started on this one. And it had been a long time since I had played this one, so like started and played about an hour in and was just kind of all over the place with it. So I'm like, okay, I gotta go back and play off stream and streamline things a little bit. Um, which I never did. Uh, again, I've gone into this many times. I went through a very long period where all I really wanted to play was Call of Duty Zombies and other games and other projects would pull me away from that temporarily but not for long. Um, I have many many games that I purchased and never played and I've talk, gone over that, and I've got many, many great games that I purchased and started playing and never finished because zombies always came back. Um, fortunately now, I, we're in 2024, and the zombies community is fairly dead. I am, there's just nothing for us to do. The content has not been there in the last three or four years. Not since Cold War. I don't know. Supposedly the zombies experience we're getting this year is going to bring us back. But I don't see it. They, they've been mailing it in. Copy pasting a bunch of stuff together and it's been really rather disrespectful, so, I don't know, but let's get started. Um, we are going to do, I actually played through, over the course of the last, like, week, I played through on my own what we're getting ready to play through now, and I think I got a handle on how to do it, and then I started the second run for the other character, and woo, that second run stacks it against you. It really does. It just stacks it against you. We're gonna go, wait a minute, back up. New game. And we're going to go Claire. Now, in the original Resident Evil 2, Claire's scenarios were always a little bit harder. Um, mostly because her weapons just weren't as good as Leon's shotguns and Magnums. They just weren't as good. Now in the in this, I think they actually her grenade launcher is improved. Look, man, I'm serious. Okay, I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. Buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay. Well, it was last Friday night. I was walking over. Why he bite This woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. Now, if I like corpse, remember like correctly, corpse, Raccoon man. City is a like fictional town that's so supposed like to be to set in Tennessee. Right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you gotta stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink to teeth in the middle. I should have taxed somebody. Oh, come on. 
just getting good. I need some sleep. I love how it was nice and quiet out there this morning and as soon as I started screaming somebody decided to grab the whole way so it would be much it. Like thank you, thank you so much. Apartment living. So, gotta readjust. Danger it is it dangerous is it to be out here riding a motorcycle in the rain? Like I get that they set it in the rain to give it more like of a spooky ambiance. Oh, it's not gonna let me check it. Okay. here? Hello? Now on the phone, I always thought she was talking to like their parents or something. Are you okay? Wait here. I'll check it out. Which makes little sense. Honestly, because I think sh when she's talking to Sherry later on in the game, she makes a reference to the fact that her and Chris have been on their own for quite a while. I'm not sure what happened to their parents. Maybe they died in a car wreck or something like that. He didn't lock that door. Hey, what the hell? Excuse me, is everything okay? Stay back, man. I got this. And that's what who she was talking to, I guess. Dear Claire, first of all, thanks for the letter. Now if you'll let me get this one thing off my chest. I can't believe you're really going to do it. I can't believe you're biking all the way to Raccoon City all by yourself just to see your brother. 
What the hell, bro? I know Chris means a lot to you. And yeah, you haven't been able to reach him for a month and all, but you are nuts. You know how many per perverts and preverts and assholes are out there just waiting for a hot young college student to come along and take advantage of? It's not safe to travel alone. But your mind's made up, isn't it? Fine, I get it. Just promise you'll call when you get to Raccoon City. Don't leave your bestest best friend hanging. Okay, love ya. P.S. Your brother may be THE Chris Redfield, and he may have taught you how to fight and use a gun like a banshee, but that doesn't make you invincible, so don't get cocky out there. Unnamed bestest best friend. I think it's funny how they say the Chris Redfield, like he's like super famous, like nah, he's just a cop guy. Exited the vehicle through the passenger door. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Left the door Wait, open. Cop? Yeah. And the keys inside. You are? Clear. Clear Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Attention all citizens, due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. What the? 
Check it out. Get out now! Okay? Yeah! I'm all right! How about you? I can't stay here! It's not safe! Oh, shit. Go on ahead! I'll meet you at the station! Can't stop. Gotta keep moving. No stop, no stop. I think what was interesting it's like the end of the world. And it's been years, I think I got this game in 2020. Something like that. And I know I played through Leon first because it's the police station. My favorite. Almost there. Let me pause because she keeps having voice prompts and I'm talking over him. But yeah, you know, he's my favorite Resident Evil character. Um I'm sure I played Leon first, and then played through her, um, they maybe changed up the order, but I, I know that when I played through Leon, when I started Leon's second run playthrough, like, you don't go through the weapon shop or see that whole exchange. Um, I vaguely remember that maybe it happens later, like, you know, how in Claire's story at a certain point she goes to the, um, orphanage. Well, I think Leon actually leaves the police station for a little while, too, and goes to, through the city, and that's maybe when he goes to the weapon shop. Um, I'm not sure that the weapon shop owner is actually alive when he goes does that. I don't know. Um, that would be my biggest drawback. One of them for the remake is like that was to me an iconic little scene, you know, of this guy that helps you out in the original Resident Evil 2 only to turn around and be killed because he's standing too close to the window. Oh, it's just... say, you know, definitely more of a horror game than an action game, whereas this is followed more of the Resident Evil 4 formula, more action with horror to it, but not, you know, but in those Anybody here? original games. There were, let's just say rooms that that has a red check mark so we can get rid of it. 
there were rooms where, you know, you didn't need to bother wasting your ammo. killing all the zombies you know what I mean better to just run through the room and have that be that whereas on this the changes to Mr. X in the original Resident Evil 2 Mr. X kind of, air quotes, followed you throughout the game, stalking you, but it wasn't like this where he, like, physically followed you through the whole police station constantly. Like, he had set specific fixed spawn points, Evil 3 when it came out, is that he actually had programming where he could follow you from room to room. I mean, we're talking about the late 90s here, you know. It's uh, almost 30 years ago, you know. It's a long time for technology to come a long way. Oh yeah, it won't go clear until... Anywho. Yeah, one thing I've noticed is, like, Whenever I would play through before this east hallway, Come on, Chris. where are you? My natural instinct would be to save my ammo and just try and run past all the zombies, which I could do without taking oh, any shit. damage. They're inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. I should help this guy. You never get to go there, as Clara. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Well, the East Hallway, yeah. I would always try and run through and it's you know a mistake to do that because I've kind of learned that there are good places to clear out specifically for later on when you're dealing with Mr. X so you have a running route to get through you know what I mean like the the west hallway um, this way is great yeah you never go here with Claire in this version of the game and on my playthrough my last playthrough that I went through I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna kill all the zombies that attack in this hallway. So they're gone. And I'm running back through. And I actually learned something I didn't know before. Um, oh god, I should have emptied my inventory. That door actually barks open and you can get in there. I did not know that. Focus, Claire. Focus. Anything? Yeah, I don't think there was anything else in here. That light doesn't affect anything. Uh. Brighter. Uh. that you're never gonna go back into.
notebook becomes my notebook. One thing I will say that I don't like saying there's one thing I don't like about on this version of the game is just how beefy some of these zombies are like just straight I don't know why I used the word beefy when what I meant was tanky to look at the mirror I look for dead bodies Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. I forgot to put my board in the window. So nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah. It's on me. 
Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. Uh, hey. We should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, uh, forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. We probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna... And be careful. If you see one of those things. No matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. <laughs> yeah. Um. The, the zombies are definitely tanky. And it can be really annoying dealing with them. And, uh, that's why, you know, like I said, I actually played through this first run with Claire so that I would kind of know more of what to do, streamline things. Got lion head, flower, and bird. I'm not having to backtrack, you know, a million miles back and forth across the police station. That can get real old real quick. And then, so you know. It was right. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. Um, so I played through this, beat the game, didn't do too bad, I gotta see, I mean, I, at first I didn't save until I got to, like, the orphanage, cause I was just like, oh, I'm just, you know, who cares if I die, and I ended up living all the, you know, thank god I saved right when I got to the orphanage, cause that part can be difficult, you know, I didn't remember exactly what to do, and he, you know he'll catch Sherry a lot. But actually, you meet Marvin in this room, the first time you in the first game, and he pretty much dies on the first meeting. It's he doesn't die, but you go in there. I can't run, and like I said, like, woof. I just, I'm at a point where I've just got no ammo. And I don't want to use. A bunch of. My, you know, supplies and stuff. But on the first run, yeah, I, I, I used three aid stations before, or aid sprays, 
before I ever even used a single herb which I don't know if that affects any your grade on this on the original on the original Resident Evil 2 there were three things that affected your grade one the time how long did it take you to go through the scenario you wanted to hit four hours or less to go through the whole game um, two the save numbers you wanted to if you wanted an S or A rank you wanted to save I think less than four or five times and three aid sprays you could take a million herbs didn't affect your grade at all but every aid spray you took lowered your letter grade so I'm going to stop here and do some talking because, you know, I keep wanting to say things, but that this is a very cinematic game. It almost is built more like a movie, and I don't want to be talking through a bunch of parts. Um, traditionally, in the first game, I would not board up the windows in this hallway. Um... Instead, I would board up the windows in the hallway going down to the basement, which Claire doesn't even go to in this game. Um, in the first game, there were things that you did on one scenario that would carry over to the second run. So, each character found one board. Alright, so if Claire boarded up the windows on run run one in this hallway when Leon came through those windows would still be boarded up um, there was also a locker at some point that contained an extended backpack and a submachine gun and whatever you took as that first character would not be there for the second character and whatever you left would be there for the second character so if you played through the first scenario as Claire and you took both things then Leon would have nothing in there um, this hallway traditionally I never boarded up because you just don't come back through it enough in the original game in this game I believe you actually do come back one more time with the you know the chain cutters uh, but other than that you just don't traverse this hallway a lot throughout the course of the game um, but I found that you find enough boards that you can board up this hallway. Now in the original game, 
This was the liquor hallway, obviously. This door was not locked. You could go in right from the start of the game. I have a board. I'm just trying to see if, yeah. Now, um, David in the original game and in this game, you get multiple accounts from him. Like this, I think in this game you only get one or two, whereas in the, er yeah, yeah, I know you get two, because, for sure, because there's one on the third floor. Um, in the first game, I think there were three or four different accounts from David I suppose I should read this we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak all police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible at September 28th, 25th. So on September 25th, I think 24 was when the outbreak happened. 25th addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believed this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Mm. 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. Honestly, uh, I've already messed up twice. I'm so tempted to, to go back and just restart, but I'm not going to do that to you. I should have put the board here, but really I should have put the board here. I know I'm going to end up with enough boards to board everything eventually, but... I miss on Resident Evil 2 the original when you you knew they were dead because a a pool of blood would spread from beneath them. 
that you don't get on this one. Unfortunately. Oh no, don't get up. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. I was down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phyllis once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about the tunnel. Elliot Edward Yeah, what I was saying, like, Elliot... Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is the initials of our first names and put the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officer's name, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Branna, Marvin Branna. Scrawled in corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. So we got. I believe this is the desk of. What does it say? Nell. Carlson, Elliot Edwards, and David Ford. So, Ned. Flanders or Starks, take your pick. Now, David Ford, Elliot, you find a, a ton of material from them in, in the first game and you also do in this game you just never really find out what happened to them obviously because you know they're not going to be able to write about their own deaths but it'd be cool to be like oh we lost David today if you ever get the chance check out Adrian's Undead Diary it's really good Marvin Brana weird how the LT would be in the same row of desks as just the regular troops. Rita Phillips. And then this one is George Scott. By George. Great Scott. So M R G Merg. Okay. 
My guy's just hanging out there in the laundry room. I think that's everything in here. Now these two... I tried to take them out ahead of time, but we'll see what happens. A lot of times they'll burst through this door behind you. I think it might be a scripted thing. We'll see. I know. Or maybe not. Maybe if they're only alive. playthrough I mean the one guy with no arm that I just knifed I didn't even know he was still alive like I just walked past him and came in here the other guy the one that was beaten on that door I had shot down but I guess he was still alive locker terminal it appears the key bad at the locker terminal is missing a few keys I suggest that the person responsible for this mess um, find some spare keys and fix it right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck up this badly? I don't know. I'm gonna check something real quick. Test. Okay, just making sure. Double checking because I had uh, I had this microphone on mute, and then I unmuted it and. This, of course, you instantly put right here. And anytime I've muted this microphone, it makes me nervous. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. Red herbs just make things more powerful. I don't know. I'm not going through all that. If you've played a Resident Evil game, you understand what's going on there. And we don't have to get crazy with it. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I didn't use a single blue herb in my last playthrough with her. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, guys. Um, just quit smoking this past week, so now I'm coughing up a bunch of stuff. Fun, 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 fun. But, uh,
portable safe instruction. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The button must be pressed on a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you will have to start over again. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We don't need you in here telling us your juju ba doo boo. So we got Never open that locker. There's nothing in there but a zombie. than the zombies on the Call of Duty and doing weird shit like you try to anticipate where their head is going to be and then all of a sudden they change their movement pattern entirely Back up? No. That's good, fat boy. This one got the thing. Ah, oh, that one's gonna take two of them anyway, so. This one. Mmm. We're gonna go two. I could have got oh I can get that one too I could have got another knife but I don't need another knife yet This hallway. What's this hallway called? <coughs> Don't really have a name. Very important. Always keep this hallway as clear as possible. You want to kill everything that comes into this hallway because you're going to spend a lot of time running from Mr. X. And that room right there is where you're going to do a lot of it. 
running too, because he can't come in here. So when you need him off your tail, get out of the way. Good place to do it. Oh yeah, not through there yet. Gotta come up here. I think he fell from up there. Which should have probably killed him, but it's a video game, so. Now, did I finish what I was gonna say? I know the code to these two, but I'm not gonna do it, because I want things to be organic for you guys. Mm, it just says key. So we'll go ahead and examine them so you know. It's the spade key. Alright. Good things, good things. Um, David, oh, Elliot, yeah. What was that? Shit. it break some glass I don't remember it actually being seeing a liquor anywhere until oh. any survivors consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive liquors we call them they're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for that. So long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns are blazing, you should be able to slip right by it. Um, probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Anyway, not th that I want to go, but duty calls. That, and I've got a friend to avenge. David. <coughs> And I think that might be the last time we hear from David. And like I was saying, you don't really know what happened to David. Um, there's no date on that one, so we don't know if it was written before or after the first one we found. Um, this might be the first room we see a liquor in. I can't remember where she sees her first liquor at. I th oh, you know what? I know definitely I think it was right outside the star's office was a liquor. Some guy scribblings. Now, I'm curious as to who this is. Um, I'm naturally ne leaning towards Chief Irons because some of the stuff he talks about kind of remind me of Irons and his sadistic game playing that he could do, but. Again, I love what they did with Irons because you only saw Irons on Claire's playthrough <coughs> in the original. And you only saw him on like two occasions and he wasn't super fleshed out. Whereas they, you know, he's around a little longer in this. So he's a little more fleshed out. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off talking about Umbrella after all I've done for them but if that's how it's gonna be so be it I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4 all I gotta do is detonate it and it's sayonara suckers But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give the one raving loon something to really squeal, squeal about. Yeah, 
Maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. Wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I need some music for this. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's irons. Grab that. Boom. And it almost makes me want to say that, that David and a bunch of them ended their ended their survival there. I mean It's funny how he made C four um but you find it in pieces throughout the police station. So maybe <coughs> he made it, but Started killing what his prisoners or whatnot, and then. Claire, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why? What's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. So, like I said, is she gonna raise her gun or what? The fuck. She took forever to put that radio away. Because remember, David said revenge. So, what I'm thinking is, uh, Marvin, David, and you know the surviving cops got hip to uh, Chief Irons was up on the third floor torturing some of the. Uh, other surviving cops and you know making them kill each other and shit and date that's David wanted revenge on the chief for I guess the death of one of his colleagues at the you know chief's demented hands it's hard to say but would not be shocking. And after they ran the chief hall, that's when they Oh, I see what y'all doing. I'm trying to jump a fool. Alright, now. 
after they ran the chief off. They probably took his old, uh, whatchamacallit, C4, split it up, put it in different places. Nice stuff. What is that? The fishy thingy? Scorpion? Or like a potion type of deal? thing all right before you have to deal with mr. X while doing this let's go ahead and move this over one it'll stay there for the rest of the game where you left it and go ahead and move I could move these both at the same time by the way so wanted to check in between. Move these ones on over. So then, when I come back later and Mr. X will be around, all I gotta do is drop that thing, and come over to this one, click on it, push right, and it'll put it right in space. One slide. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. familiar you can make it to that courtyard with the second floor east side okay thanks Marvin I'm on it went and refilled my coffin. Two things I wanted to talk about. Um, on my last playthrough of this, it took me entirely too long to realize that you could shoot their legs out and make them crawlers. I was just strictly going for headshots. I mean, it didn't matter too much because my first run with Claire, I ended up having plenty of ammo until I got to the sewer area. And then by then I could just use all the different uh, ammos that I had found. And that dodge that I did, what you gotta do is kinda run, try and avoid the zombie and when it grabs you, you use the right stick to kind of, like if it's grabbing from my right side, 
push left on the right stick to like kind of avoid away. Um, I'm gonna take some practice. It's not a reliable thing. I kind of wish that like one thing I miss about Resident Evil 4 is like you shoot them in the feet, they'd go down to a knee, and then you had a little like spinning kick sweet chin music prompt you could do they took all that out hell even on Resident Evil 3 the original Resident Evil 3 nemesis there was a dodge mechanic took that out I mean yeah and it just tells you about this even though if you weren't paying attention you would have been carrying around a gas station key that had that check on it this whole time Captivated Edward the Black Prince, the Pearl, the Queen of the Nile, Milk Dry, the Diamond that le led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origins are unknown. I'm not reading that is unknown because that's this one's origin is unknown okay I added an S that wasn't there it said that it once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king this fall this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction there are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with Kale. Care. For devilry lies in beauty shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Cal Caligula. And we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Oh, and a random thought that I started before and never finished. Um, I was talking to you about uh, Adrian's Undead Diary. Um, and yeah it's very interesting how it works because it's written kind of like how the accounts in this are written you know a journal so obviously if Adrian were to die in the story you would know because he wouldn't be able to write over his death like I was talking about before However, at a certain point, spoiler alert, if you've never read and skipped about 30 seconds here, at a certain point, other people join the story and a couple of them actually take up the diary at parts for Adrian for various reasons. Um, There are times where it is you're led to believe that Adrian may have died or you are know you do know that Adrian was seriously injured and you know it's it's a cool way of you know because that was one issue I think the author had is like almost like the supernatural thing where like 
after a while on Supernatural, you kind of knew that the Winchester brothers are untouchable, so. You know, with Adrian's on that diary, he got to a point where it's like, okay, this guy can't die because, I mean, he's the main character of the story. Let's just be real. So, the author found a way to make it so it could be believable that he d were to die. You know, that came in when other people joined the story, like I said. So the only reason I brought any of that up was, you know, because like I said, it would be cool if you would find out what had happened to David and some of these other people. Like, well, we lost David today. I think in the original Resident Evil 2, there was legitimately a log that said we did lose such and such today we lost Elliot today or something like that because like for a certain period all of the logs were from this person and then suddenly they came from a different person whether it be David or Elliot or vice versa and I know. Should have two, right? Okay, I know that. But I'm just gonna squeeze over here. Oh shit. actually tempted to not even use I might make some have I got I don't think I have let me check Fire just is so, so good. L Wait a minute. Oh, can I crawl in it now? Just, just same. Fire is so good later on, but I found that on my other playthrough, I had used all. Basically, you just kind of stop finding fire ammo for the grenade launcher so by the time you get to the lab phase where you really need fire you just you don't have it
Claire? Leon! I'll be right there! That's a mighty nice jacket you got there, Leon. Stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? Yeah. You find your brother? I did, actually. He's... Just me thinking can't get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting to the fence. Please, just go. Leon's a real fuck hard here. Both of us. Excuse my language. He takes his long. Hey, Marvin. This is bad. We've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? I think I'm kidding you. That was bad. I missed a ton of shots on him. I'm just trying to see if the fire will eventually kill them. Because I know when I played through last I didn't kind of mess with them I just left them alone and when I came back they were not on fire anymore
give me my knife back. Oh, they're down there. <laughs> I'm like, now who's up in there? I messed up and forgot to put that first board there. I had to deal with that zombie. But I would have had to deal with another zombie on the other side when I go through there in a minute, so I guess it evens out. seen a zombie at that window. drum solo going on over there. Not going to be enough for him. I got one more thing to grab. Now, I plan on going through the series um, to an extent. I've already done one. I'm doing two now. I'm going to do both scenarios. The first run and the second run. But I'll play through three. I don't know if I'm going to do four. Just because all I have is the original four. I don't have the new remake. 
maybe when I get that. Um, that'll change. I'm I'm like that. See if there's anything else I need. Wait, didn't I have another board? I thought I had picked up one more. I thought that was a bobblehead. Maybe there's a board in here. <laughs> this should be the last time I have to come through this hallway anyway. That may be the first damage I've taken this game. And the only place to put it would have been that window. Since I'm never going back through that hallway. It's not really very necessary. I wish I could repair those so bad.
Wait a minute, what? My bad, yo. All of that. Like I said, I played through... What I needed to do was do my first playthrough like I did. But... Instead of playing through the whole game... And... You know, that needed to be enough for sure right there. And But I went ahead and like, oh, I want to see how second run Leon starts. Um, instead of even just playing through the whole game, I should have played through a section of the game and then streamed that section of the game. So it was fresh, and I knew the streamline weight, what I needed to carry, what I didn't. It's, you know. But, you know, I'm not doing a speed run. And, you know, like I said, I got zero views. This is not a new game. If you're looking for the perfect ways to play, I'm sure there are tons. Mm -hmm. Just basically every game that's not being released today or tomorrow has been streamed a million ways to Sunday. Everything. There's no new ground being touched by anybody. Unfortunately for me, I'm an older guy. YouTube came out too late in my life for when I would have benefited me. Like back in the 90s, early 2000s, if YouTube, like I know YouTube would have came out in like 2006 or 7 or something like that. You know, if it had came out in 1995 or 97 or 98 it, I would have probably been a successful YouTuber like there were games like Duke Nukem Total Meltdown it wasn't that I was super skilled at those games because I was a teenager it was then I had them so memorized like the first scenario of Duke Nukem Total Meltdown the first episode which was five stages and I believe a secret stage, but I don't know if that was in, the secret stage was actually in Total Meltdown. I think it was only in 64, which was basically Total Meltdown and Duke Nukem 64 were both remakes of Duke Nukem 3D. So when I say Total Meltdown, that just happened to be the version that I had of Duke Nukem 3D. Drop the cat. But like I had most of that game memorized. Like I knew where to be, where to face, at what times, where the enemies were. I could have taught you the perfect run for Resident Evil 2. Now, ordinarily, I would not save here. just on the merits that it's not necessary I can I have what it takes to deal with the liquid but I'm actually not specifically
Yeah, that was my last run. Let's see, I ended up with 18 saves, which is fairly high for the fact that I didn't save until I was almost completely done with the police station. Um, it, the reason it's so high is because once I did save that first time, I'm like, well, screw it. If I are saving, then we might as well save. This is a trial run anyway, so I just started saving every time I passed it, you know what I mean? I just want to see if they patched it out. First, let's see if there's another knife in here. Dang, I could have brought the bomb with me. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe. Move from store's office, second floor, to west office, first floor. Combo is left 9, right 15, left 7. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. That is curious to me. This is Wesker's office. And... By this point, he's already quote the other members of stars at the Spencer Mansion. But, <coughs> oh, I can't confirm until I can read that right there, I think.
they did change it. test my theory I mean they maybe they patched it out or maybe my knife is just too broken but I saw a video on YouTube from a guy named exceptional or something like that and he actually could he figured out he did resonate with you myth busting and he figured out that you actually could uh, easily kill liquors with the knife. One, they're, it's silent so they don't so much respond to it like other weapons. And two, they would kind of there was when you stabbed them with it they would have like a little stun animation if you just kept stabbing them they were like perpetually stuck in that stun animation so I'm gonna run back down there beautiful thing about that whole process of trying all that out was uh, now we know that you need at least five slots for everything in that room and I might as well bring this bad boy with me Yeah, your mother. You motherfucker. Really? Like I fired a shot to get his attention. But I thought since I didn't make any more noise afterwards. It He wouldn't be cued on me like that. Apparently, yeah, he can just kind of find you. I'm going to deal with him first. And I'm going to keep monkeying about because I'm funny like that. I just want to see what's possible. I'm, I want to really test this knife theory one more time. I'm going to ignore those flame rounds for now. I 
Oh, are you serious? What are you doing, Jeremy? I, I, I wasted a bullet. Apparently, he can't be damaged until he does his little grab that body animation. I mean, trust me. Had I saved right before I missed like half a clip shooting at that fire zombie, I would have reloaded. You just every round is so important in this game. It did work though. My thing about this is that's September 22nd. I know the outbreak happened on the 24th. And would they still be sending memos to Wesker who had didn't return? I mean, I, I know that Jill, Barry, and Chris returned from the mansion incident. And probably reported Wesker as dead. And we're trying to report the Umbrella Company. And we're immediately kind of blackballed. Because nobody believed him. Because Umbrella just had too much power in this area. I, I don't know. But, you know, Wesker clearly did not return. So, why would there be... Find a temporary replacement for Wesker? I just killed that liquor with one bullet.
again. No save. Everything I did there was pretty worthwhile for the cause. Where does this zombie come from? You know what I mean? Like the liquor I can deal with because as long as you're quiet Guess he falls from that ceiling and knocks that thing down. Oh, I just finished my peanuts. Sad, sad. Face. Make it a snake. I mean, the last time that that liquor didn't just instantly know where I was. However, I was moving the entire time. You know, I was just walking, like creeping. The last time, I think, as soon as it appeared, I just instantly stopped. That hurts. <clears throat> the last time I had used way more ammo, but I had definitely not used two herbs. I had used two uh, ace sprays.
this part here probably if I were trying to do the best grade gameplay. Looks like it leads underground. Good. We can get out of this hellhole. Hey Marvin! Guess what? I think I found a way out. Marvin, come on. Let's get you out of here. Let's go. Are you okay? Save yourself. Come on, it's bad. We gotta get you to hospital Please, now. Claire. We both know how this is going to end. Get out of the city. We can't just leave you here. Claire, please, go. Do this for me. Marvin. Thank you. Kind of bullshit that that door shuts behind you. And it's unexplained why it does that, because when you come back here later and use the bat thing to open it, it stays open. Now, what we're going to do here is, again, because I'm such a wonka tonka, Oh, and that leads me to, um, in, the Resident Evil games, I've always kind of inferred, which if any of you have ever played Dead Island, you find out towards the beginning of Dead Island that your characters, the, what was it, four or five playable characters, were immune to whatever the virus was. They had been bitten and didn't hurt. Um, that's never said explicitly about the main characters of these games, but I implied them just due to the fact that you know in this universe it's pr established pretty early on is that her making that noise Yeah, shut the fuck up, Claire. It's established pretty early on that if you get bit by a zombie, that's pretty much a wrap. I mean, even if it's not a fatal bite, you will end up succumbing and turning. Like, even if you're just bit lightly on the arm not a lot of blood less the infection has spread to you it's gonna make you sick you're gonna succumb to the illness and then you're gonna get up as a zombie or mutate <coughs> there's two ways you can look at the main characters way number one is canonically uh, they were never bit or injured throughout the course of these games. Um, you know, Leon gets shot by uh, 
Nat Bergen, but outside of that, I guess canonically you could say that they were never bit. They were just that good. Or two, they have to be immune as well because, you know, they get bit multiple times in a playthrough and you just pop an herb and you're healed. You know, that brings me to a point that I started to say earlier. I saved right. Not a lot of poison in this game. My first playthrough that I just did, I wasn't poisoned at the time. I think the plant guys can poison you. And maybe the embryo monsters and the sewers can poison you. Unless I've forgotten. It's been a long time since I've played all the way through a Leon scenario, whether that's first or second. I believe they removed the spiders from the game entirely in this version. Whereas in the original Resident Evil 2 there were a couple places there weren't a lot but there were a couple places that you would run into huge giant mutated spiders one was the I would call underground facility slash sewer like when you went from the basement of the police station you went down into what looked like a small sewer that led into an underground fa facility where you would you know put in the bishop, rook, knight, king, king or whatever hello? hello? marks but in that little underground sewer it was just one little hallway that was just made of L. Ladder at one end, doorway into the underground facility on the other, and that place would have spiders in it. And maybe that's why they took them out of the game. It wasn't worth coding and designing a modernized spider when they were only in one area of the, of the game. Uh, they were definitely, I think, more prevalent in one. Don't know if they were in three at all. It's been sh 20 years since I've played the original RE3, so. This might be a part that I load a bunch. Because I'm going to try and just pistol this guy. Oh. 
but it was this one. He finally slowed down in a spot where I couldn't see him. Normally I'd be over in that corner and he'd drop down right next to me.
Good job, Claire. After I done expended almost all my pistol ammo. And acid grenade hey. ammo. Little girl. It's safe now. It's over. <coughs> Everything's fine. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Of course. I'll help you. I like Sherry, but fuck that little girl. I mean, you couldn't have warned me sooner? You need help. You need help. Like, what the fuck is that? And then she mumbled it again. You need help. Why do I need help? He's behind you. Like, how about just... Oh, he coming up behind you, just so you know. Like, like I understand it's a little girl, but... Uh, you just gonna intentionally get me killed. Cause you a little scared cat. Probably going. We're not too bad off. I was just really trying to save as many acid grenade this rounds. Way. Trying to save as many rounds in general for the grenade launcher. So 
until we get to the sewers section of the playthrough because I just know you need all of this grenade rounds you can find in the sewer section for the embryo guys you know like to up here it won't move big pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. It's funny because it, inside of that case is a silencer for the uh, submachine gun. So where is your dad? He, um, worked with my mom, but he's gone. Wow, both of my parents are gone, and it's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? And, uh... Honestly, the silencer is only useful... Or really comes only, only comes into play... When it comes to dealing with, uh... liquors and by the time you get to that you know when you've been in the sewers and you're on your way you you know find that little elevator behind the the shelf the secret area of the sewers which is good that they added because there was a little secret area of the sewers in the first game uh, by that point in the game, you're not really dealing with liquors anymore. I guess you deal with... Is it two of them? In the labs? I can only think of two of them in the labs. Here. Come on. Over there! Leading us into it's trouble closed. again. key card. Here, come out. Let's focus all our attention on the gate that there's no way we can possibly live. Are you sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Brave little girl, leave your house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. Tire. Okay then. You tie her up now, or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. If you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck that. Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! She 
Harry, you come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go. You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Let me go! Obviously, nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Go, yes, we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! Stay safe, Sherry. Okay. Key card first. And then that asshole gets what's coming to him. It's funny because um I like what they did with Chief Irons in this one. They gave him way more depth. Must be where that guy came from. If you notice, uh, um, if you notice, uh, he only threatened or hurt Claire to get Sherry to do what he wanted. Whereas the, the original irons from the Resident Evil t to the original game was more of a two-dimensional character or one-dimensional almost he was just sadistic and evil um, obviously just like Wesker he was working with Umbrella but you know he was and he did kill that woman just like in this one but there was no other side shown to him I mean, I think you saw him the first time in his office, and he threatened you, but he didn't, you know, he was just like, go ahead, do whatever you do, you're, in, you're of no consequence, I got other shit, shit going on, um, <coughs> and then he was straight up going to kill you when William showed up and implanted him with the embryo, but that was it for him. Like he was just a, you learn through his writings and the writings of other people in the police station. He was a sadistic fuck and he was just straight evil. Whereas in this one, they really fleshed him out more and there's more to him than that. Like I said, it's clear, like yeah, he's a bastard and he just took Sherry and kidnapped her. And he hurt Claire in the process of doing that. But he only hurt Claire I mean the, in that same scenario the original Chief Vickers from the first game would have just shot Claire and took took Sherry this Chief Vickers uh, tied her up left her tied up maybe helpless maybe plans on coming back to collect her later but like I said, he only goes to the levels of actually hurting Claire to get Sherry to do what he wants. And then later, after he calls Claire on the phone, when we go to the orphanage scene with where you play a Sherry, he even makes the comment that, you know, if you hadn't dropped the damn... The, the, the pendant which bothers me about this game is because you pick up that pendant but it doesn't show anywhere in your inventory or in your logs or anything whereas in the original game when you pick up her end pendant you actually put it it actually goes into like a key item category that pendant actually has Well, in this, it's got, it's a key to get to the antivirus and 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 also more samples of the G virus. In the original, it actually contained a vial of the G virus. 
So, and that's all the, well, that's all Chief Irons wants. Um, like, like I said, he actually makes a comment that if she hadn't dropped it, like, right there, we're stuck, but. Raccoon Monthly, June issue. Attention all Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be an, be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right, it's Police Chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation, let us know if we missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family. Chief Irons said that with a soft smile. What's funny is known for his charity work. Big contributions to the orphanage. When you get to the orphanage, you basically find out that they end up using the kids to send them to nest. They tell the other kids they've been adopted, but they're really sending them to nest where they're being tested. The G virus is being tested on them. When you get to the lab and it's talking about subject 639 and 638 and da 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 da, they're talking about these kids from the orphanage. <coughs> Support for abused women. Well, he just clearly abused Claire. Uh, There's a woman he's about to, in both games, that he's about to stuff, you know, use taxidermy on. Um, you don't really get her backstory in this game. I think there's a side scenario where you actually play as her, which I'm not sure is canon. In the first original Resident Evil 2 you find that she's actually the mayor's daughter the mayor sent her to Chief Irons to protect her and he just turned around and killed her because he was a sick fuck and had a weird lustful thing for her but knew that she would reject it she'd never go for him so he just like well you know I'll kill her and turn her into a permanent or form and then you have animal conservation and the dude just loves hunting and taxidermy so it's pretty much everything listed here he is is that bastard is the police chief There's no dogs. I like when that happens because you know that one's dead. Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. Key to patrol car 7439. Details. Bent key no longer usable but can still open the car's doors and trunk with its keyless entry button.
Damn. I don't really get the idea or purpose behind the whole raccoon thing. Is it a nod to like Crash Bandicoot or something? I know it's kind of like hidden packages in Grand Theft Auto, but again, why? And they have these records too. It's like, what, what do they unlock? What are they for? Why should we care? And the answer is, we should. Nobody cares, and that's just the way it is. about going and saving before I came in here but I just did not do it Look at all those, look at all those, uh, over there. Look at all those flame rounds he's got, man. Put those things to use, like, dude. It's closed. When you get to the labs and start dealing with them plant guys, I wish I had some flame rounds. Okay. Key card first. And then that asshole gets what's coming to him. Must be where that guy came from. I'm gonna cheese the saves. That bastard is the police. He's cheap. Again. I'm not doing a speed run or a best uh, be all I can be, best I can do run. Like, that's not. I'm just doing a playthrough, just a let's play. Like, doesn't matter how many times I say. You know, it doesn't matter how many times I die.
I mean, unnecessary steps there. Why? Why put it in a box at all? I gotta come back here and go in there anyway. So. I was actually thinking about reloading. Never get to go in there as her either. save real quick. Why am I hearing doors open and close somewhere? Is that a little nod to... Oh, you're kidding me. I forgot to pop real quick. Is that a little nod to, you know, Leon running around? feel like that's more powerful than that even though they use the same but we're gonna actually do some interesting stuff here save oh it's not going to show the auto save because why would it let me save over an auto save and just see how we do with what we got here Plenty of room to carry this useless herb.
Don't you get your ass back up. Here comes the interesting part. Does the other one already spawn out here? No? And we're gonna go save, right? I'm doing to like save ammo. I'm just I'm basically not saving it so much as just redistributing it to other like you know. But I didn't spend killing that one with the knife. I spent. might end up with a reload, but we're going to see if I can
Sorry, I know this is taking more time than it should, but once I get the key out of that one, there's really no reason to ever come back to this room. This way. Is that is this is the problem? There should be lots of ammo in here. There's none. But it is cool because if you know your trivia, I guess, about Resident Evil 2 in the demo. I'm not sure where the demo ca I think it came out with a magazine. Either that or a trip book or maybe a director's cut of the original Resident Evil but there was a demo that came out before Resident Evil 2 dropped for Resident Evil 2 that included a shooting range um, when Resident Evil 2 did in fact come out there was no shooting range. So good to see them at it. I mean, obviously after the fact. 
I think he's up around that corner, honestly. did this last time. Yeah. Backtrack to the box, put stuff away, when really all I gotta do is go up this elevator and there's a box. Although, I, I'm not gonna lie, it will be a pain if I can't, if it does not let me come back down this elevator. Sometimes I need that herb. I mean, like, like I said, though, they did a fantastic job on this remake. But if you do ever get the chance, whether on an emulator or happening to own a PS1, if you can go back and play the original, it, it's still worth playing. This game does not cancel its greatness out at all. Whereas I think with some remakes and some movie remakes, they're intended to replace. This is great. It's updated. It's fantastic. But there are changes. Um, it's not... And I'd say the same with Resident Evil 1. Um, the original Resident Evil 1, fantastic game. The remake, which came out for the GameCube, um, also fantastic. That's what the version that I played on the stream. I mean, it wasn't on the GameCube, it was on the PS4, but... Copy of emails to Chief Irons. Police Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must. William Birkin. Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away. But don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you and everything will be alright. William Birkin. 
police chief irons you are to up security around my lab your m muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on site doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're umbrella employees i'm so close to completing gene and no hassle is going to get in my way Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you, I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are, William Birkin. Now, William Birkin is one that, in this version, I'm not as keen on as I was in the original. Mostly, it comes down to that one cinema where, first of all, you don't see whether it's him or his wife that injects him. You don't see his actual injection, whereas in the first game, you see him get injected. I can't remember if it was he did it with one of the five. By the way, they filmed this one or constructed the cinema that he may have already injected himself with G before he was shot. Um, <clears throat> but the character model that they went with with him. First of all, doesn't match his appearance on the monster. They went with almost like an Ed Sheeran look to him. And it just, I don't know. It, it's not my taxidermy log. White-tailed deer, male, approximately six years old. Place of capture, Arclay Mountains. Length, six foot one, weight, 353 pounds pleased with how it turned out, but I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe time to move on to more challenging animals. Siberian Tiger, male, approximately four years old. Place of capture, Khabarovsk, Cry. Length, nine foot six inches, weight, 529 pounds. That is a long animal. I nearly came when I sliced into its yellow belly. Upon, uh, I nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly open and its warm gut spilled out. I still smell a wild beast. This is the life. Like, dude, gross. Pig, female, 22 years old. Place of capture, Raccoon City. Length, 5'3", weight, 110 pounds. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over, and it's all mine forever. He's obviously talking about that woman, not an actual pig. Just to clarify for anybody that didn't, didn't catch that. A turtle? Really, dude? killing turtles and shit dog I mean we just don't get down like that I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you like we put holes in homies for a lot less I'm just saying just in case I need them See, sometimes it makes two and sometimes it makes three. I never could get why they do that. So hard. So it ain't that one.
Damn it. I never went into the safe. I was riding too high after killing that liquor. And the and the the allure of the uh allure of the old fashioned uh C four had me going, man. shop letter from your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office it sounds like something needs replacing you will need some power panel parts to fix the issue fortunately a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower we sent a few spare parts with him and he reported that he left one on the third floor east storage room if something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. We look forward to serving you again. Uh -huh. So. Having to spawn Mr. X, that would be great, but unfortunately I can't. William Birkinsole to that, because he's a dick. Stairs too, because about the level of uh storage 
bench space I got, and I also want to go upstairs and check this floor before. save again because why not get what I'm supposedly missing in this hallway. Guess maybe because this is all considered one hallway. Okay, then. 
seems bad though. Tracking. What are you doing, Jeremy? Well, this part it's okay to do a little bit of extra backtracking because you want to get as much done as possible before good old Mr. Uh, Could have used that a while ago. Once Mr. X comes up, he kind of makes it difficult to handle a lot of business in the police station. I know for Claire's story, for sure, uh, he's pretty much just in the police station. I mean, he, the ones that's chasing Claire gets taken out by William Birkin himself pretty quickly. You leave the orphanage, so like I know he chases you out of the police station and all that, but yeah, a really real. Yeah, he said. Now there are theories now in the first Resident Evil 2 pretty much I can't back this up because it's been a long time he only appears in the second scenario the first scenario you just deal with William Birkin and his embryo spawn and there's, there's just one of those in the, the chest piece room um, second scenario you deal with Mr. X and there's pretty much just one Mr. X that you deal with. In this there are theories from players that there are actually two Mr. X's running around, one for each of us. I don't know how much I... I mean I guess if it's been a while since I played through Leon's second scenario. I know Mr. X chases him around but from where I am in the second scenario right now, it could still very well be the same one that is chasing Claire around. And he just hasn't died yet to William Birkin in the scene where, you know, they, Sherry and Claire into the sewers and he attacks the elevator and then sh William Birkin comes up and stabs him in through the back cuts him in half and then he attacks the elevator could very well be the same Mr. X but if there is a Mr. X after that that has to be dealt with by Leon or whoever's in the second scenario. I would say primarily Leon because I get the feeling that with Claire's scenario, you on, that's the only place you get that scene where you see a Mr. X die and Um, because of the Sherry relationship with William I think they focus more on regardless of which run it is Sherry and Claire scenario 
has more focus on William Birkin. Where it's in the original, it all just depended on which run you were. First scenario, the first run was William Birkin, the second run was Mr. X. I think where it came down to is it may it kind of made more sense for Ada to throw you the rocket launcher than Annette Birkin, but again, who knows? You gonna jump through? That part they kept in from the original. <laughs> and no, you never have to go back into that room, so in fact you never have to come back down into this hallway. Just because I'm about to go out and have to mess with Mr. X, and I, though I don't want to, muy necesito. this unnecessary bull crap. I'm gonna put the dongle away honestly. I will go by the uh, dark room before I Start there. Not a safe room, by the way. Mr. Axel will definitely come in there.
Really? version of the game, they're more apt to lunge at you, whereas in the original, they could extend their arms, but they couldn't dive your direction like they do on this one. And again, that's an area that you're not going to come back to. Come back to life now. You hear? done that without wasting any ammo on him. Just lured him up the stairs, went around him, did that thing, lured him back down the stairs. Six to eleven. That game. 
gave me way more ammo than I had before, I think. Sorry, Marvin. Now this guy out here. Peace from the dude. I noticed on I was going back and reading like could Mr. X kill the zombies? No, he pushes them out of the way and it's kind of a rough shove but it actually does no damage to the zombies I mean I don't think it's people read deep into it like well he's a he's only meant to kill humans da 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 I don't think there's an in-game lore reason for why he can't kill the zombies I think it's just a programming thing on Capcom's part that they didn't want you to be able to just you know save all the zombies and then run past them and then have Mr. X kill them all and save all your ammo you know what I mean like they didn't want you cheese in the game with Mr. X gonna be MFG or some shit. DCM. Way wrong. I was thinking of that one I already did. This is one of, this is probably my favorite saver in the whole game. Um, it was in the original and it is now. Uh, I don't know, I have a, as far as the original, it was a more of a nostalgia thing. <clears throat> um, not just that, but it's one of the few you do in the original Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. You came to the police station, which kind of was lore breaking to an extent because it was way more barricaded and it was like well why would there be less barricades 24 hours later um, yes I know there's police running around and again why didn't you see any of these police that were running around it's, it's I don't know You specifically go through the room that you found Marvin in and then Resident Evil 2. Uh, there's just, it just doesn't, there's some more break. There's some plot holes that are created by the visit to Resident Evil 2 in the original Nemesis, so. 
But other than that, what I was getting at is this is like one of the few safe rooms that you can go to is this save room. Oh yeah, and also this was the save room that had uh, the, the secret outfits. The Brad Vickers outfits. <laughs> if you made it to the police station without picking up a single item you would find Brad Vickers underneath the, the in the little stairwell area underneath the, the front door entrance like in the original Resident Evil 2 that was all one area whereas in this they split it up and you only can get to the one side on one scenario and the other on the other scenario like but Brad Vickers would be down there as a zombie he was a stores member he was the helicopter pilot that basically cowered it out and flew away in the, se in the first game um And he would be, oh my god, it would take a horrendous amount of rounds to kill Brad Vickers. But if you killed him, he had a key on him, and you could open up the lockers in this room and have a special outfit, which for, I believe, Claire actually had a, a, another weapon in there, too. But, uh... Yeah, it's just good stuff. I love, I love this save room. I've actually got to pee. And, uh... I think I might actually... We're four hours in. I might actually save the game. And then... Well, is there anything else I need out of here? For what we got going on? Try and save all of these as long as you can. Don't use them for anything. Because when you're fighting that last box as the train cord, that last William Birkin as the trade cord is descending, these things absolutely wreck him. Look at that, 18 flame rounds. On my last playthrough, I probably had three or four at this point. Like, of course, I also had like all, I hadn't used, I didn't use any of my gum powders until I got into the sewers and I had no ammo and I knew I had to deal with like eight of those fucking embryo guys. And this might, this style might actually backfire on me because maybe those embryo guys are more. damaged by the acid rounds than the flame rounds. So, like, it's kind of like you want to save the flame rounds for the lab, but you also want to save the acid rounds for. the sewers maybe um, I mean who knows like I said as much as I've tried to like save various types of ammo in this game I'm more fine that instead of saving I'm just redistributing um, the knives are great for the liquors but if you don't use the knives to kill zombies then you're not gonna have any pistol rounds like it's I don't know and that's one thing I get that this version of the game the original you couldn't aim so you couldn't do headshots so 
theoretically zombies took longer to kill. They didn't. I mean, I've met some really tanky, like, 10, 15 rounds to the head zombies in this game. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, theoretically, they, they were harder to kill in the original game. And they want to keep things balanced, but in the original game, as long as you weren't silly, as long as you kind of learned where to kill zombies and where to just ignore them, because you're never going to go back through this room, um, you never had it. You had plenty of ammo. I mean, I'd end up at the end of the game with. Phew, a hundred over a hundred rounds of pistol ammo and sixty rounds of shotgun ammo and da 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 you know I haven't really seen that in this game well I'm sure if I really played through movies that I I have been killing that I don't have to but I don't know that whole way with the helicopter I've noticed that I've killed the zombies in there come back and there's more zombies like that didn't really happen in the first game until there there would be a part where you would get to it, it was when you did the the bell tower part you would see there would actually be a little cutscene where you would see the zombies start coming through the windows of whatever hallway you didn't board up which for Claire could be a problem for Leon not so much because there was a chute that went right from the bell tower down to the prison cells and you didn't need to go back through the police station and really for Claire, you didn't need to go too far much. To, you basically had to go from the bell tower to the chief's office. So, again, your biggest worry was as soon as you exited that bell tower, you, you had Mr. X face in you. And it wasn't like it is in this where the, the room makes a big U. It literally went from the library to the bell tower room. There was a uh, a balcony for that. There was no balcony for that whole eastern top floor. Just didn't exist. So. But um. I think I might have just saved. So. Plus, I found if you like stand like right here. Go ahead and pee.
Okay. We got some more time. I went ahead and got the water started boiling for my noodles. shows up when I'm in this room. If you go into that missing button room, go into the storage locker room safety deposit room and you hide back here between the two aisles a lot of times if he's in this area he'll pop in the room and as long as he don't see you back here like if you notice I tried to hide back over here I guess he's pretty much just designed to come in here if you're in here as if you notice he was nowhere near me you didn't hear footsteps slowly coming towards me he spawned outside this room um, I guess he just kind of does um, but if you hide over here where I got the grenade launcher and he can't see you I mean you can use the camera to kind of peek around the wall a lot of times he'll pop into the room, look around, turn around and leave. But even if he does start down the aisle, you just go down the other way, come out. Ah, he went the wrong way. That wasn't what we wanted you to do, my guy. This is the one thing I hate about him being in the game. I mean, once you understand the rules of him, he's not too big of an issue. But right now, look, I'm streaming. And here I'm having to burn time. Like, time, that clock's just up there tick ticking away. Because I need him to not be where I'm trying to go. You know what I mean, Berm? One thing I don't like about him is like, I figured out if you run slow, did I just put that at, no. If you run slow, or I mean walk, he doesn't hear you if you run he will hear you if you're if you can hear his footsteps at all he'll hear you if you you know no matter how far away he is if you can hear his footsteps 
at all. Running draws him. <clears throat> However, I've noticed he has a tendency, like, instead of, like, searching the whole police station, like, if I just sit in this room for 20 minutes, he'll never actually go over to the east side. He'll never go over by where the chief's office is and go hang out over there, search that area. He'll just kind of keep circling around where he last saw me. Um, that's fine, but if I sneak out of the area and go to another area, he'll still, he'll suddenly for some reason then decide to leave that area and search other areas of the police. So it's like, yeah, they wanted to keep him somewhat tethered to you to keep the chase up and keep the drama going, but at the same time, it's a little immersion breaking that you're not able to shake him as well as you should be able to shake him at times. You know what I mean? Like, if I just sit in this room, he should go, right? theoretically, he should be able to, uh, you know, he's searching for me throughout the entire police station. Uh, according to the two scenario set up Leon's also moving through this police station oh I was talking about that the theory was there are two different Mr. X's um but he should go search other parts of the police station he won't unless I move and even if I sneak away and he doesn't ever see me move to that other part of the police station as soon as I move to the other part of the police station, as sneaky as I can, without alerting him at all, without him chasing me at all, just all of the sudden, he'll suddenly go to the other parts of the police. Like, that's immersion breaking. That's not realistic. And that I do have an issue with. Probably just in the main hall. Trying to get up there.
That draws them too. Mm -hmm. Let me get this and get back downstairs before he traps me up here because that one room has a liquor in it. Missing something like I feel like I uh, at this point in the, in the first game I had already found that button there. It's in there. I really do. might have just proved me wrong. He might actually be over on the other side of the police station. Just I'm just being way sneakier than I was the last playthrough, I guess. to stars members to my bestest stars buds how are you all doing in that drab old station hanging in there against old irons me i just got back from a date with a hot chick bet you can guess what we got up to under her extra large umbrella europe is amazing one month is in no way enough to even scratch the surface Maybe I extend my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't even think of coming to join me. Wouldn't want to make all the cute girls cry, yeah. So, you just leave the babes to me. Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. Chris Redfield, August 29th. Okay, so... <clears throat> Yeah, everything, clearly everything that happened in Resident Evil 1 happened all the way back in August. And I thought I remember there being like two or three weeks in between Resident Evil 1 and 2. 3 was set 24 hours before and 24 hours after 2, so... Mm -hmm. Either they had a new interim stores chief to replace Wesker. I just don't understand why Wesker would still be getting memos when he was presumed does not dead. Sound like Chris. Of course not. He's talking in code. You didn't catch that part about Umbrella or him telling Chris not to follow him. That should clear that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, he, I don't think he. Oh, no, he can't come through this way. I did unlock it.
might have went up to the third floor and got himself stuck or something. Because I think that zombie that normally knocks the book chase over knocked it over right as I ran through the door. So it closed the door up behind me. Oh, now I'm hearing him. that until way later. Not too bad. I will need that. streaming for about four and a half hours and I think my water may be boiling I don't know for sure I think I check oh yeah my water's boiling so it's just saved I'm gonna end it here because I think about five hours is all my uh, my internet can take at a time so but I will as soon as I eat I will be back and we will drive on with this playthrough Alrighty.